giants in the land. Keep us from the mystery. The mystery is encircled with giants. Scare people away. The mystery was revealed. As soon as it was revealed, the devil put up giants, or scarecrows, I call it, around this cornfield guy of this living world, resurrected corn. It's yours. Just take the land. Don't be afraid of the giants. Knock them over. These giants have picked up the lingo and language of the mystery. We read in the Bible and twist it. Peter saw this. He understood that it was hard to understand what Paul was saying. He gets beyond the first principles of Christ and he goes on to other things. As Hebrews 6 says, Peter said it. What did he say about Paul? I brought Paul, I think he said it hard to be understood with the carnal mind. And there they would take what Paul says and twist it, the scripture he was getting, and they do it to their own destruction. The devil, once the mystery was revealed, he couldn't hide no more. He had to cover it over, distort it in some way, shape, or form, to keep you from understanding the mystery of this mind of Christ in your spirit that contains all the wisdom knowledge of God. This Christ, this anointing of God's in you. And the Holy Spirit will work it out. If you get rid of these giants, it's called the strong man of the subconscious mind that blocks you ever hearing from God. Or take what God does get through to you and twist it under some occult idea, new age idea. So, put aside any fear that others might have causing them to label what's shared in this series on the mystery. Labeling is heresy. Simply because these scarecrows take up Paul the Apostle and I am once again presenting and accuse us of adding to or taking away what has been revealed, this mystery of the mind of Christ being in your spirit that desires you to know this truth. This has also been covered in my series on the Living Word and the Mind of Christ. For those on some witch hunt seeking to labor anyone, he uses any words these cults use, stealing him from this mystery revealed in the Bible, twisting the original meanings that God gave to the Apostle Paul. At present, there are some 80 videos posted so you can bring out the depths of this mystery. With this one taking it even deeper, using the symbol of scarecrows to drive this point home. In the Old Testament, when Moses was called to cross the Jordan and take the land promised to Israel, the giants in the land kept that generation from what God promised them. They were to enter when that promised land's wheat fields were ripe for the gleaming. They allowed these giants, which I use as a symbol of scarecrows, to keep them from all that God promised. Now in our case today, after this mystery what God has promised to those in Christ was revealed, and an eternal inheritance represents these resurrected wheat fields that promised the land of milk and honey, theirs for the taking, offered to the Jewish people free from Egyptian bondage. So in the symbolism of all this, what do we see? Why Jesus Christ our Lord accomplished setting us all free, revealing our being the offspring of our Father with the promise of an eternal inheritance. It goes on in Scripture to say that this treasure 
is hidden in earthen vessels that the excellency will be of God. And may he fail to go into this treasure chest and find out what it is he accomplished. In that treasure chest is your inheritance. How much of it do you want? That's the question. Remember, this was hidden. It's not hidden anymore. It's available to every one of us that we want to accept the fact of what Jesus Christ accomplished, restoring us to the rights of an unfallen Adam and our being in what Christ accomplished, being the offspring of the Father, a full inheritance reserved for us, as Scripture clearly reveals to us. So that's what all these uh, symbols were revealed written for us, for an example to us, it says that. These things in the Old Testament was written to them for an example for us. What he accomplished. Our being the offspring of God, Jew and Gentile, all of humanity, all the descendants of Adam, that word Adam being interpreted as humanity, he's restored. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Restored lost glory. It's a task of the Holy Spirit to work this out of us. But as long as we're free and get duped by people putting up scarecrows to keep you from this, saying that you're going beyond that which is written, now you're taking what is written, written to its greater depths and understanding what it is that he accomplished. I mean, it's, it's no mystery anymore. It's revealed. And we were to be stewards of that mystery. And sadly, after 2,000 years, that mystery has been destroyed. Covered over, hidden with fear. True love gets out fear, fear has torment. We're not tormented by that. We were willing to go on. As that scripture I mentioned earlier, Hebrews chapter 6 is saying, and a quick going over the same old ground, Spain, another symbol, 40 years in the wilderness because you're afraid to cross the Jordan to the land of promise. Christ in you is that land of promise in you. This whole kingdom of God is placed in us. It's near us. We have to dig them up and pull them down. It's in us. This microcosmic kingdom of the kingdom of the continuous. That whole series of videos brings that out. That's what this church is supposed to manifest. Not a kingdom made with hands, but a kingdom prepared before the foundations of this world, preserved, kept, untouched of humanity and our fallen opinions and ideas. That's what this series is all about. Revealing the mystery, getting into a greater depth of what he has to offer, and not being afraid how much of this do you want?